Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome for the first time if you are new. We are back to watch the finale of Bodies, episode eight. Here we go. Before we jump into this, if you end up enjoying this reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you wanna see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, Let's jump into the series finale of Bodies. Fuck. 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 Yeah, that thing is like in her spine. Like, how do you? What is she supposed to do? Hitling head. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So that's what that symbol signifies. Defa. She carved her name. She made it. Maplewood. Wait. There's Henning head. But look. Was that what I I didn't see what it said. Inspector, there's a cripple in the cell saying your name. Tell him to wait. He's a she, sir. <sighs> okay, okay. Those living conditions are not great. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I, I, I come from a far. <laughs> Just say you're from the future. He'll understand. This is gonna sound crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm from the future, bruv. The murder you've confessed to. There was no exit wound. And no bullet. Yep. How could you know that? Because she shot because him. Because I'm the one who shot him. We're all from the future. In that future, Harkers committed murder on a scale you could never believe. Hundreds of th what? <laughs> He's just done. He's like, I don't want to listen to this. You left a message for the future. And here I am. Let's go, Maplewood. He's gonna marry your daughter. She's gonna have his child. And so many people are going to die. Stop! Uh... It's not like you have anywhere better to be. That's true. Yeah, time, <laughs> time's gonna pass either way. <laughs> Might as well listen. What is it? I'm to be transferred tonight. Transferred? Yeah. You die on the way to prison. It goes down as suicide. You can change this. Please. All right, well. Let's see. I know what it's like to live a lie. Stop. Stop. You're here to kill me. I know who you really are. I know. 
everything about you. Damn right. But if I could just see my daughter one last time, I would drag her away from you like a child from a cliff edge and tell her the truth about what you are. Why her? Could have been anybody. You don't have a shred of self-sacrifice in you, do you? And so you will lie to her. And the liars you will destroy her. He's like, how the fuck do you Did know you my name? Call me? Elias. Elias Mannix. He's like, how do you know this? <laughs> the more these lied to you, the you lied to you. You won't die loved. You'll die alone, full of regret, too weak and afraid to change. Damn right. <laughs> Don't you walk away from me. Coward! He is shook to his core. Elias! It's not too late! Look! 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 Not too late, Elias. Forgive me. What's the matter? He's regretting it. Operation successful. Come spring, you're to be a father. That's wonderful. He doesn't mean it, though. Perhaps we should ask your mother if it is to be a boy or a girl. Or do you already know? It's a boy. It will be a boy. <laughs> It'll be a new start for us, won't it? <laughs> sure. I had to know what it was that was troubling you so. She's learned everything. I realize now I... I recognize this man. Yes, you do. He's the man that my father confessed to murdering, am I right? The man in your painting. Indubitably. You will tell me the truth, Julian, or you will never ever see me again. On the life. Will he tell the truth? Of your unborn child. Did you have a part in my. In my father's death? He had every part of it. <laughs> From beginning to end. Yes. I killed him. From the future, the child you carry begets a son. Then generations are born. Then I am born. If we don't do this, then I don't exist. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if this is the way she wanted to learn all this. Damn. Okay. Hooray. Look at that two year old boy. He looks just like you, Elias. Holly, please, I beg you, <laughs> let him know he is loved. Nah, fam, she ain't about this anymore. <laughs> Thank you.
Whiteman is hiding the girl in his flat. I know what I must do. I've always hated these earrings. The changes. Polly, please, stop. Forgive me. I never meant any of this for you. How about you? How do you die? Still made her do it. Must be soon. Is it me? Do I kill you? I hope it's me. Damn. <laughs> Just the absolute change. It's a lie. Then lie, as if your life depends on it. Their lives, if not yours. Change it. Change it, Julian. Lady Harker requested I take the equipment. It attracts dust. It's fine. Leave it here. I need to rest. Very well, sir. Yeah, Mullins, get the heck out of here. We got one more record to make. I pray these truths find you, Elias. Somehow they have laid dormant in me for far too long. Every word you've ever heard from me has been a lie. Damn. We switching it up for real. his real name I need your help only you can do it get this out of my house if my son finds it he'll destroy it what's that on this record is the truth you can save them all only you for Esther for all our sakes, I beg you, just do this one good thing. All right, you gotta leave, brother. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Can you hear me? Father? It's good of you to warn your folks, Hayden. Bit late, mind. Sorry, dude. You're a dead man. The whole city is gonna hunt you down. Do you hear me, Fansman? Sucks to suck, brother. All right, now you gotta leave. You play a key role in this. No. Go to Long Harvest Lane? Like, where are, you, where are we going? That is Long Harvest Lane. I think that's what that sign says. We all found the body. We all came here. Everybody out. <laughs> He's like, all right, if you're not going to listen. Come on, kid. Blow your whistle.
Inverness. Oh, the ticket. <sighs> he was gonna make it out. They're just gonna open fire on the building, aren't they? Come out! Or die! Nah. Open fire. One good thing. They're ruining it. This nice bar. <sighs> I like him. He's one of the best. My condolences. He did what he needed to do, though. Okay, I was like, the year zero? <laughs> Something's changed. I can feel it. My memories. Her memories are changing. No, wait. The pub was destroyed in the blast 30 years ago. Damn fat rip. Let's go. I want to know! Yes! Reverse. There was an unexploded World War II bomb that was discovered. Okay. What if someone was sitting in this spot and like she can't, <laughs> she can't get to it? They didn't. Oh, it's just on the frame. <laughs> Never mind. Here's one good thing. He did it. He did it. He's got a thing in front of it? Is that barricaded? It's Detective Hassan. Detective Hassan. You look old as hell, Detective. Shara, am I on speaker? Sarah, is that you? This isn't Sarah. Tell me your speaker, pull over, and I'll explain. Please, Shara, just do it. Nickname. If you don't recognize me immediately, you'll hurt my feelings. Who are you? You know, you understand the voice? You know. Who is that? What's going on? There's another trigger. Don't let him run off. Not if you understand. Elias, can you hear me? Who are you? You figured that out already. Elias. I know what Barbara gave you. I know what it is you're about to do. Where I come from, you did dial that number. And hundreds of thousands of people died. Including my son, Jawad. The sacrifice I am about to ask you to make you have to be willing to live unloved to save everybody else. And now we know what we must do. I'm sorry, my boy. There's no phone. You can't dial anything. 
<sighs> Poor kid, honestly. If I call this number, the bomb still goes up. Don't get too close to the other version of yourself. Oh, he just disappeared. He doesn't exist anymore. Damn. Okay. I wonder if that lady's memories are going to start to shift. And she'll forget everything. Shara? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Some things never change, eh? <laughs> Interesting, interesting. We get to see what their their lives would have been. Polly Hilling had something. Some mu music thing. Poor little Esther. Pop it. Wow. Let me go with him. Please, please. Let the mother accompany him. Thank you, sir. Dang. Echoes of memories in their heads. You know this man. Go make love to this man. He needs it. You remember his chiseled body. <laughs> what about Maplewood? Can Maplewood walk now? Because she, uh... Never had the issue with her spine due to the explosion. Spencer Street, please. What a difference a day makes. I feel sometimes like this whole city is about to boil over. You were on the precipice of it. You have no idea what you got out of. I know exactly what you mean. Oh. <laughs> Shahara. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What does the end mean? What does the end mean? Okay, everything is good. Or is it? We don't know. Um, the ending definitely leads to some speculation that there could be more coming. I thought this was just going to be a one, like a one and done limited series, you know, over. But apparently, I don't know. Because, that, yeah, the end, the end leads down. Because, like, how how is Maplewood here, <laughs> first of all? Like, why is she... Why is she, like, in 2023 and driving a cab? Like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> and then at the end, the building in the background flashed the the Know You Are Loved uh, word or letters. So presumably there's some other conflict or something that caused Maplewood to go back in time 
again? I don't know. It's very curious because, I mean, we know she went back in time. Uh, and seemingly, seemingly, I, well, I don't know if she, she, she wouldn't have gone to three separate timelines, would she? Because Harker didn't. He, he only went to one. And Def, I think Defoe went to multiple timelines because he got shocked and was too weak to follow. Um, and so he, he went to multiple timelines for that reason. So I don't think, I don't think Maple would, would go to separate timelines. I think she would only go to the one that she was trying to go to. But I'm not 100% sure. Like, if she did go to multiple timelines and she also ends up in 2023, seemingly she wouldn't be able to walk, <laughs> right? And she would have appeared, you know, right after. So I don't know how she's here. But the rest of the plan works. <laughs> it works great. Um, you know, Maplewood goes back and she talks to Healing Head and is like, hey, this is what is going to happen. And then he, in turn, places that seed of doubt into Harker's head. Where he's just like, I know who you are, Elias. <laughs> like, everything sucks. You die bitter and alone, and it doesn't it doesn't work. And obviously, that doesn't immediately make Harker be like, oh shit, like, I need to fix everything. Um, but it does plant that seed of doubt in his head. And that seed of doubt turns into this bitter relationship between him and Polly, where the first time around, they have a loving relationship. Like, they, everything works great. She ends up, like, willingly going along with his plan, um, and, and, and it's fantastic for them. <laughs> but in this new version, there's just this, this seed of bitterness between them, and, and it just grows and grows and grows, and she feels forced to be in this situation. And by the end, she's like, I hope it's me that kills you. <laughs> like, she hates him. She hates him so much, but she knows that if she doesn't go along with it, like, the world, like, the world they've built ceases to exist. Her child ceases to exist. Like, everything. Everything will have just been for nothing in, in her mind. And it just grows and grows and grows. And eventually, Harker is like, Elias is he film or not films he records another um recording <laughs> and then and then the conflict of the the finale becomes not just like him recording it but getting that recording to young elias so he can hear it and that is complicated because <laughs> uh you know whiteman has to get that recording he has to get to the pub he dies like in a different way instead of being hung he gets shot in the pub um, and then, like, future Shahara then also has to go back in time <laughs> and get that. And then go back in time, or not go back in time again, but go to his mom and, like, do this whole thing. And it's a very complicated, wi t wibbly wobbly, timey wimey thing. But they succeed. You know, he talks to himself, he talks to the younger version of himself, and he's like, hey, you know, you were lied to, you were told you would be loved. And I, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you won't. <laughs> like, like, how do you, oh my God, like being like straight up, like you're not going to be loved. Like that the plan doesn't work. And I hate that you have to be the one to make this sacrifice, but you do. And, and, and it sucks. But I think he feels a sense of relief because he has been trapped in this like he's been trapped in this for so long and he's had this nightmare for so long of like killing this kid that when when it's all when he's finally out of it all like he just he feels relief and he tears the paper up and uh shahar hugs him and it's just beautiful and then he disappears like he just doesn't exist anymore because the loop never started and it's just it's wild and then old Sh shahar uh ceases to exist and everything is fine everything is seemingly good uh we got shahar going to her dad's birthday we got whiteman um seeing that esther's alive and uh giving her <laughs> giving her or letting her get away with some stolen apples um and in the background when he's walking you see a poster for polly hillinghead's uh, like musical so musical show 
which led leads us to believe that she does not get married. Polly stays a, a single woman her whole life, but you know leans into the music part of things and becomes like a professional musician, which is pretty cool. Um, and then her father, Hillinghead, still runs into the the um, journalist, and they kind of share this look. Um, and and things are just working slightly differently as well. Like there's small little moments that happen differently, but each of them seem to have this like this like echo of a memory, <laughs> almost like they they see people that were significant in the previous timeline, and they like it's like deja vu like they've seen that person before and they're just like what like what is going on like <laughs> it's it's crazy but you know they they know them a little bit they know them and then yeah we get the end with maplewood in the in the cab with uh shahar so like seemingly something else happens in the future very curious so that i mean one it'll mean one maplewood can walk <laughs> <laughs> that'll be that'll be step number one is because she got hurt in the blast that's like her and her brother both got hurt in the blast and neither of them could walk he took the route of just like living with it and being in a wheelchair she took the route of getting the implant um presumably her parents would be alive and then maybe there's some other future problem you know maybe I don't know, like, she's talking about how, like, the city seems on the verge of, like, boiling over, and Mannix, this plan that he concocted creates this, like, era of peace. Maybe in the future there's no peace, and they have to go back anyway. Like, something happens. I don't know. Very curious. Because, I don't know, like, wouldn't... Okay, so... The people that traveled back into the past would also travel into the future. <laughs> and maybe something happens in the future that needed fixing, and so then they travel back again to the past. But would any of it, would they know any of it? Because, like, if the loop never started, then they never experienced any of this. I don't know. There's a lot of weird, timey wimey paradox things that I don't know how to explain. And I don't know how they would explain a second season if they had a second season. Like, how how do you start the conflict? <laughs> I, I'm very curious. I don't know. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this series. I thought it was a lot of fun, even though it took me 85 years to watch it. Like, I really, I really had a good time watching it, and I liked all the characters. Like, at least all the main characters. I liked each of the detectives. I thought they were awesome. Um, I liked the visual style there. It almost felt like it was, uh, on film, like there's a graininess to it. I liked that. I, I liked just the, not simple, but like simple on its surface conflict of like, Hey, we have to break this time loop. Like what the frick is going on? Um, and how a lot of it felt more reliant on interpersonal relationships and like character conflicts than specific like sci-fi aspects of it you know because you can quickly get <laughs> bogged down in the weeds with technical uh verbiage when you go that route so i liked that they focused a lot of it on the characters and just the the journeys they were going through i i liked each individual characters like particular conflicts that they had uh and and how they worked through that um yeah it was just it was really good i liked it a lot um but i think it's all i have to say definitely let me know what you guys thought uh, of this series of this episode down in the comments below do you think there's going to be more i'm very curious to hear everything you guys have to say otherwise if you enjoyed my reaction please leave a like on the video it means a lot to me if you're new here hit subscribe ring the bell so you're notified when i upload and then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.